Hey, Brian Hawkins, Next Step Survival, and today I think I want to do two videos for you. The first one is a very simple prepper pantry inventory system that I call just plain sight inventory. And uh, I'll show you how I can quickly see exactly what I have, what I need to buy, and um, how old it is. And um, I think that maybe after that, maybe I'll do a, a pantry tour. All right. All right, so what I got here is just a little 12 by 12 room that I built that used to be one of our, I guess, a family room, great room, whatever you want to call it. I walled it off, did a horrible job, didn't even finish it. Just got the wall up and the door, and then I started putting in shelves. I didn't even paint it, so it is what it is. This is temporary. I have family living here right now, and once they get out on their own, we'll have three more bedrooms to work with. So we're kind of stuffed right now, but... What I wanted to show you today is my simple prepper pantry inventory system that I call Plain View. As you can see, everything's in plain view and everything gets a date. So I write the dates on everything. Some on top, some in the front. Canned goods, everything's dated. So when I get new product, like with these ones here, you don't see any labels. I mean, you can see the cans, but you don't. You don't see these labels here. So I know that I just want a full shelf. I know that's probably about six months or more worth of vegetables and all that type of stuff. So when I when I see corn missing, these are overflow up here. But if I see corn, for example, missing, I can tell right away it's three cans, five cans, two cans missing. And that goes on the shopping list. And then we just simply replace it. And then it takes a little, little bit of time, but I kind of enjoy it. I pull all these out and put them in the back. Yeah, I know there's there's uh, really cool, fancy rotation racks and all that. I just, just do it this old-fashioned way. So I also take, a, I also take like all this stuff here, and I'll just take a picture. So I'll just back up. And snap a picture of it so when I zoom in I can look and see you know close up what's missing so it's real easy to see th that shelf there this one here is pretty full um, and honestly I don't try to keep that stacked all the way full the same with down here it's just all extras I'm not gonna say extras but it's it's not you know stuff that I, I worry too much about but things like this, where is my meat? I'm having a hard time fitting in here. Limited room. So up on the top shelves are proteins. And those are important. So the way I have it figured out, one meat a day for seven days for six months is 26, right? 26 for two servings. So this is for me and my wife. One of these cans should be sufficient for me and my wife for one meal, right? So I need 26 cans for six months supply. We've got well over that. Um, there's 12, 12, 12, and 12. Right, so we got, what is that, 36. So we're 10 over. And then I have some overflow up there. You can't even see it all because that lip. We have the pork and then 26 or more. Chicken and then the beef. The same with uh, canned chicken breast, canned corned beef, plenty of spam, tuna. I'm lacking on the canned ham, so we gave a bunch of that away. And uh, but all the rest of it is more than what we need for the six months. So we've we've extended our six month food supply um, easily. And then with this, you know, like condiments, I just figure take a couple months to use the mail the miracle whip some of this i went a little heavy on you know saying we have to be in the house for you know extended period of time or something so like soy sauce honestly we don't go through that much soy sauce and worcestershire sauce 
hot sauce, all that stuff, cooking oils. We don't go through a lot of that, but we might. The same with the ketchup, barbecue sauce, mustards. We might if we're, or if we're um, trying to use that all of a sudden from what we generally have, which is, you know, fresh meats and vegetables and that type of thing. So maybe we want to spice things up a little bit. So I added a little bit for a buffer. And uh, even these get dates. And what these dates are, are just the date on the packet. So this is January 22. And then somewhere on this packet, it says January of 22. Well, January of 22. I think that's says January. Yeah. So I just write the best buy date on there. That doesn't mean that's when it expires. This right here, this honey... It's raw, unfiltered, May of 2019. So a lot of people might consider that already expired. Uh, I know that that's a forever food. That's not going to expire ever, as long as I keep it in a cool, dry, relatively dark space. So by dark, I'm not talking about the lighting. There's actually a big bay window back there that's completely covered up. I mean, with drywall and curtain and everything. That's not for the lighting. That's just keep people out. But anyway, so that's all I have here is everything is, and then all the stuff here is bulk, or a lot of it's bulk, overflow. So I'm just running out of room. Things like this, this is like a working pantry. You won't find dates on there because um, we go through it. And um, I don't worry about the inventory when something gets low. So, like, these black eyed peas, once we start, um, once that starts getting low, then I just come over here and find the black eyed peas, open up a packet, put it in a jar, and we're good to go. And those are dated. So, that's my inventory system. I went with some a couple of apps. Uh, let's see, I don't have my clipboard. I thought it would have me right there. I had a clipboard hanging here at one point. Um, all typed out and looking pretty and stuff. And I I thought I would go and like keep it up. And all, but it just got overwhelming. Because we have a, um, the whole family comes in here and takes what we want. It's a working pantry. And then all of a sudden, my inventory sheet doesn't work. It's not updated for weeks at a time. Then I spend an entire day trying to keep it up. The same with the apps and all that. So this is what works for me. Uh, doesn't work for everybody. And it looks overwhelming when you have to think about um, putting all that into a database or even worse, a uh, notebook of some sort. And that's not even mentioning what's in all the bins. We have bins everywhere. Now I do keep cards on the bins that will say what's in there. So I can just simply look on the top of each bin and know what's inside the bins. Actually I already know but maybe maybe uh, my wife doesn't or something. And that's it. That's our inventory system and uh, Short and sweet, very simple, and that's just what works for me. I've, I've gotten a lot of questions about that on Instagram, so I thought I'd just do a quick video. And uh, I think next one, maybe I'll go over this entire prepper pantry. All right, stay safe, stay prepared. Hawkins out.